good PM or 1500 hours and this is not a home it's a landmark and I'll tell you what you go a long way to find a home uh, with more soul than this it's like chicken soup for the soul kind of stuff lucky number 10 sanctuary Port point in sunny hills aptly named because of its low take location its orientation and certainly you feel like you're in a sanctuary to say the least it's an estate in freehold 1102 square meters of literally pancake flat terra firma so as we know in real estate um, homes depreciate, land always appreciates in value, so you cannot miss uh, with uh, close to 1,100 square metres. It's lot number 11, all the ones are there as well. Deposit of plan, 69258, record of title, no changes than those copy that uh, Tina and Ping have availed to one and all. The chattel list, there are no changes. We throw the local bird life in at no extra charge. And the conduct of auction, that's the rules of engagement, is how we demystify uh, auctions that sometimes people get a little bit worried about. But I will nominate the bids, may refuse the bid, temper any quarrels, vend or bidding is my exclusive right. Um, but here at Harcourts with Tina, I'm not here to inflate the price whatsoever. If we don't meet the reserve quite often, we just talk to the highest bidder. Uh, we have one buyer that's registered on the telephone, one that's registered here in person. So good luck to both parties. I don't have any favourites, just basically whoever's got the most amount of money. Uh, property can be withdrawn from the market within a moment's notice. So to avoid any confusion, just hold the highest bid to have all rights moving forward. It's not my property, it's not my money. I don't make any decisions. Our owners do, and I commend them on the presentation of their fine abode. Now, they have listened to your unbridled, unfiltered feedback around value, simply meeting or toppling that reserve. We ask you to sign the contract, pay the deposit one-tenth, and the balance of those funds in full on the conjoined possession and settlement date set three days after my birthday. Elaine, you're not going to forget my birthday this year, are you? No. 8th of September, 2023, and certainly that will be a day that you'll remember for the rest of your lives. The rest of the contract is very exact. We sell without hubris, pride or presumption here today. Take a lot of confidence from it. But having a little Captain Cook, uh, Ping, when was this property built? 70s? Yeah, so look, you know, they were craftsmen back then, right? They took pride, they measured twice and they cut once. Now it's a home that borrows from the past but it squarely resides in the future. I love that you've got your self-contained flat right next door for unruly teenagers like I've got, in-laws, outlaws, when family, friends come to stay, no problem. The main home itself, well, it spills out here onto the deck with a landscape that flourishes with neglect. You've got bedrooms where you can ascend that staircase to heaven where dreams will always come true. And if it's a bad hair day, well, I don't have to worry about that, candidly. But if the wind's coming from the west, well, you can go out the back as well, where you can party like Gadsby or drink tea like the Queen. It's fully fenced to keep everyone safe and secure. And the little ones, they can still run free range with plenty of backyard to climb a tree, to kick a ball. And you're worlds away, but you're not worlds apart. Good people, it's a quality location. It's a home that people absolutely trust. So I say, opening bid, opening offer, um, who would like to show me the money? So I can show our owners the market and they can say yes or no. Where do we say go? Opening bid, opening offer. I'm in your good hands. I'll tell you what, I've got the best seat in the house here. 1.7. One, 1.7? Yes. Beautiful stuff. Rainbow, we've got you there at a million seven hundred thousand at one point seven million dollars at the bid now. I bid away for a little hundred thousand on the climb on the rise. But at one point seven, what a family home it will be, sir, and good luck to you and your family. One point seven five. One point seven five. They've shortened my stride already, but no problem. At one and three quarter million dollars. Yes, well, I've bid 1.75. I'd suggest $2 million. Would you go to $2 million? <laughs> no, no, 50000 but I love the question. Sir, yeah, yeah, no, no. Happy to take questions at any point in time. You don't have to convince me. It's the owner you've got to convince. But I've got my instructions at $1,750,000. It's 1,100 square metres. It's a lot of home. It's like happy out here today, isn't it? It's like you get two for one. You get two homes in one. Uh, good day, sir. Some of the friendly neighbours come to greet you into the neighbourhood. He looks like one of them. 
Is it 1.8, sir? Would you go to 1.8? Yes. Beautiful. Thank you for your clear instructions. <laughs> at a million eight eight at a bid now. At 1.8. So both parties are in, but anyone else can interrupt at any point in time at a million eight hundred thousand dollars. At a bid now, what do we say? You can sit up there on your Juliet balcony, but at 1.8 million at a bid now, I bid it away for a little. 1.85, appreciate it. At 1850. See? 1.9. At a million nine hundred thousand on the counter on the advance at 1.9 and a whole lot of zeros. 1.95. Sir, and I can see you uh, there'd be no excuse for a poor meal in that gourmet kitchen, that's for sure. And two million dollars, thank you, at two two at a bid. At two million, at two and a whole lot of zeros. We bid it away for another 50,000. 2 million 50. And I apologise for all of those that have missed the bottom of the market. Um, if I could only take you back in a time machine six weeks ago, but at 2 million 50, it's certainly on the climb on the rise, sir. Look, you're still smiling away. You look pretty happy there. 2.1? 2.1. Appreciate it. I was at the casino last night with my father. Terrible place. Blackjack was no good to me, but you don't have to gamble around here, do you, Aline? You don't have to. 2.15 at 2,150,000 at a bit now. Do we line up the two ducks? I'll tell you what, she's been... Rainbow? No, with a smile, but I'll tell you what. Um, I will meet him halfway and take a 25, though. But right now we've got 2150000 I have to decline a $10,000 bid. I don't like doing it. Um, but at 2175, I'll meet him halfway. Literally not a thing to do at once at 2150 at a bit now. I bid away for a little 25 on the climb on the rise. I say twice penultimate, not to exclude any other parties, and I say third and final call at $2,150,000. Ma'am, he's okay. It's a family home. No problem. Rainbow, does your good man want to? Does he want to bid me 75? He does. Appreciate it. Thank you. At $2,175,000. You got all the off street parking, sleepy little location at 2175 75 at a bed. I bid 2.2. 2,200,000. I love how the home's just sort of elevated. Beautiful stuff. At 2.2. Oh, sir, but you've got to drive home without a house. That's not a very comfortable conversation you want to be having with family. Is this your son videoing the auctioneer? Trust me when I say this, champ. Do your homework, otherwise you'll become an auctioneer, and you don't want to do that. You're better than that. But at 2.2 million, at a bit now, I bid away for a little 25,000 on the climb, on the rise. I say... E uh, Sun at $2.2 million. G'day, Princess. How are you going? It's a flash rain jacket. Radio Tina. Well, that is below my owner's selling instructions, but that's okay. I'm just going to have a conversation. Uh, Rainbow, your good man can uh, have a breather, and I'll be back to you as soon as I can. But at $2.2 million, our owners have a high regard for the property, but that's okay. We're not here to Eline Gate proceedings whatsoever. I'll be back to you very soon. And what about the gentleman here holding the brochure? Do you want to have a go? No, just Friends asking. Of. Friends of, thank you. Friends of, yeah, and the yeah. lovely lady here with a handbag, having a chat to your husband. Would you like to have a little flurry? <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Well. I've had my medication, so you are safe. I can assure you of that. Right, let's have a chat to the telephone buyer. I'll be back to you very soon, guys. Thank you. Um, our owners are not prepared to sell for $2.2 million, and we respect that decision. Uh, but what has transpired, they have made Tina a considerable concession, and they are here to do business today, but not at 2.2. But what I am doing now is I'm offering the highest bidder the first right to purchase the property to the exclusion of all other parties. So now, Rainbow, I will take a $10,000 bid because we are close. But at $2.2 .2 million, all right, sit with the telephone buyer. Um, and that's what's at stake. 
and procrastination is the belief there's a better property at less money just around the corner. It's not my experience and what I'm seeing in the market. But at $2.2 million at a bid now, I bid away for a little 10-10 and all those gentlemen out back with your arms folded, anyone can interrupt at any point in time. Just doing my job at $2.2 million at a bid. Sir, sometimes with quality homes, you've just got to pay it forward. It's all it is. Okay, well, good luck to you at 2,210. So we're just going to deal with the highest bidder, right? You don't have to get tangled up in multi offers, but at 2,210 at a bid now. So now that all the pressure's back on the telephone buyer. No for now or no forever? I'm not sure. Okay, no, it's all good. At 2,210,10 at a bit now, I say tahi irua toru in our native tongue. At 2.210, do we go for the want of another bid for these hallowed walls at 2,210,10? Uh, so, Tina, do I have permission, Ping, to set the property side in uh, the gentleman's favour here? Yes, I do. Okay. So, guys, good luck. What's going to happen now? You hold the first right to purchase to the exclusion of other parties. Everyone else will leave, we'll sit around and we'll negotiate a deal that both parties are happy with. And then everyone else can ring back Ping and Tina in about 30 minutes and we'll let you know what we sell it for. You'll see a sold sticker on the sign. Uh, thank you very much for coming today and uh, may good fortune keep knocking on your door. Thank you very much for coming. Appreciate your time.